Real quick, I want to just uh, welcome each and every one of you. And what we're going to be covering today all right, is the Sunday market open, the London breakout strategy, and also learning how to utilize trade setups in the European session. Now, one thing that um, you know, I noticed that Reed mentioned, he said that I started trading options. What I want to also tell you is that one of the things that I mainly focused on is uh, Forex. Now, can, you just, can I just get a why for yes if I have any Forex traders in the room? Uh, whether you're a Forex trader currently or you have an interest in Forex or you've ever dabbled in Forex, just kind of give me a heads up here. Have anybody uh, in the room just kind of get an idea? Okay, sweet. We have a lot of you uh, that are saying yes, yes, yes. Um, and some of you say no, but no problem. All right, cool. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and let's get right into things. Now, I want to go ahead and just let you all know that, uh, you know, good old disclaimer, right? I have to let you know that trading does have its own form of risk involved. All right, so you should never invest money that you can't afford to lose and always trade with equity management in mind. Now, there is no such thing as an undefeated season, and you make your losses from time to time, but the key is to keep your profits high and have minimal losses. Now, it is highly recommended that you go through the education you know, it's in its entirety and begin trading as a knowledgeable and educated trader because the market's definitely not something you want to gamble in. All right? Now, ultimately, when you do trade live, the decision to make a specific trade is yours. Now, because we don't have a lot of time here, we've just got about 45 minutes with you, um, I'm going to speed through a couple things so I can go ahead and get to the, to the good stuff, right? But like Reed said, Reed, you know, once again, thanks for the introduction, buddy. Um, you know, I, I want to let you all know, I went to school, I got a degree, I got into law school, I did all that, but I soon found myself going, my gosh, you know, what do I really, what's my passion in life? And for me, I personally love surfing. You know, I love family and surfing and friends, and I just want to travel. And so I really said, all right, I need to figure out a way to set myself up to really be able to control my time and, and effort. And so... You know, I started off basically for the last seven years, I have been coaching and mentoring individuals on essentials necessary to succeed in the marketplace. Um, I do speak to organizations and large audiences, uh, training them on how to become a results-driven achiever, and I've also been educating people in trading the Forex market now for about the last uh, about nine, it says uh, eight months now, it's about eight coming up on nine months now. So uh, once again, if you're new, hope that gives you a bit of hope um, that, you know what, I haven't been trading the Forex market for, for 20 years like some of these guys have, but uh, if you have the desire to learn, um, you could, it's definitely something you can do. So who is MTI? Well, MTI stands for Market Traders Institute. Uh, we were founded by Jared Martinez in February of 1994, and we're located in Lake Mary, Florida. Now, we do employ over 100 of the most talented staff in the industry, and over the last 20 years, they have had the honor in working with over 30,000 clients and students from all corners of the world. Now, we do operate under a single mission, which, the, which is to create successful traders. And uh, one thing I'll tell you, uh, one thing that we stand on here at MTI is that we never leave a client behind. So regardless of your learning curve, that's why we're called an institute. All right? Now, not only does Market Traders Institute have some of the best strategies, but MTI also has some of the best Forex, uh, expert Forex instructors, if you will, <clears throat> excuse me, and analysts in the Forex industry. And one specific instructor that I want to actually uh, make light of right now, his name is Joshua Martinez. All right, people also know him as the FX Pathfinder. Uh, Josh Martinez is one of MTI's product knowledge experts, and I'm going to tell you why I'm actually filling you in on Josh himself. All right, so who is he? Well, he is one of MTI's product experts. He's trained thousands and thousands of Forex investors. He's turned an initial deposit investment of $500 US and generated over $39,000 uh, of profit. He's made thousands of Forex investments. He's a published author, international speaker, pro analyst, and a full-time trader. And I'm proud to say that he's actually my personal coach as well. Now, why am I actually telling you this? Because he basically created a strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Right? And this strategy has really allowed him to do some unbelievable things. For example, back in June 5th, 2011, he opened up a trading account with just 500 US dollars. Right? What this gave him the ability to do was to trade with a micro position. Now, when he first started trading, maybe like many of you, uh, he was only making around 2 to $5 per trade and losing 2 to $5 per trade as well. All right, but when he really started going through the education uh, that MTI offers, he really started noticing patterns in the market. And if we fast forward real quick, all right, you'll notice that he was able to take time compounding and basically build residual income. And through the course, when he was able to put more money in, he certainly did. But he did stick with it. Or he didn't give up or quit. All right? And basically what that allowed him to do is they taught him to basically re how to reinvest his money and compound and build a residual income. And of course, when he was able to, he deposited money along the way. And this basically allowed him to see daily returns of up to $4,000 to $5,000 per day in profits alone. I mean, he was even withdrawing uh, $10,000 at a time in what once took him six months, you know, working five and a half days a week to make. He was now able to do in just one single day. Now, 
he did personally tell me when he was able to start withdrawing this kind of money, all right, it dramatically changed his uh, financial lifestyle for the better. Uh, he's even had days where he made 7,000 US dollars. And I want to ask you this question. Type in a Y for yes, please, if, if you would like to learn this skill. Okay, if you would like to eventually get to a point where you're able to generate this type of profit, and even if you're not able to do this overnight, but if, if you were able to kind of start the progression to get there at some point, okay? Yeah, David, Dish, and a lot of you are saying yes, yes, absolutely, for sure. All right, now, what I want to do is uh, show you this. Okay, a lot of people ask about track records. I understand. If you take a look at his track record, which is third-party verified, you'll see that he has a gain of 4,548.82% uh, return on his initial okay, deposit investment. Now, take a look at the bottom there. You're going to notice that there's like a graph of growth. Okay? Well, it shows that he was making money and losing money along the way, but all of a sudden, you notice things took off in September 2012. And we like to, we like to call this uh, a tipping point. All right, and what I'm going to be able to do today and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you the exact strategy that has really been able to assist Josh and myself in finding our tipping points, okay? So hopefully that it actually assists you in finding your tipping point faster. Now, real quick, just to kind of celebrate his accomplishments, back in April, I was his biggest day with $8,800 US dollars in just one day. So let me ask you this question. Now, I'm not saying, okay, you're going to be able to make this starting tomorrow. What if the strategy I'm going to be showing you today will really begin to allow you to make $2,000 to $5,000 in a single month. You know, how many of you uh, would like to learn that? And a lot of you already mentioned yes, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is let's get right into it. And as I go ahead and pull out my charts, I want you just to simply, what well, my expectations for you is I want you to just picture yourself doing this, and I want you to truly see, all right, do you see yourself doing this, um, and, and do you see yourself really trading and doing the strategies I'm going to be showing you, all right? So can I just please get a Y for yes if you all see my charts up on your screen? All right. Thank you, uh, Mark, Christine, Dominique, Thomas, uh, Bij, and Mohan, April, Harry, um, Elizabeth, Ella, Lou, Jock, uh, James, Brock, and everyone else. Perfect. All right. So in front of us, this is our Wealth Acceleration Software Package. All right. Now, this, uh, this is the software that we do provide all of our students here at MTI who decide to enroll in our Ultimate Traders Package on Demand. Now, I know we have some experienced traders in the room. There's also a lot of some novice traders as well, and also some that are, you know, uh, basically just, you know, investigating, you know, taking a look into the Forex market. All right, well, what I want to do right now is I want to read off to you six different currency pairs. Now, as I'm reading these off, I want you to actually write these down. Feel free to take a snapshot, if you will, but because these are the six pairs that we're going to focus on with this specific strategy that I'm going to be teaching you. Now, the first is the pound Swiss. Second, okay, the great British pound U.S., dollar. Third is the pound Canadian. Fourth is the pound Australian. Fifth is the pound Japanese yen. And lastly, the sixth is the pound New Zealand. Okay. Now, these are all on one hour time frames, if you're wondering. And in front of us, what I want to pull up real quick is let's pull up the pound Australian real quick. All right. So let's pull that up. Now, the very first thing that I want to do is I want you to just quickly take a look at how this market moves. All right? You notice that the market moves in, in what you call wave-like patterns, right? So the market's going to create highs and the market's going to create lows. And once again, let me just uh, just kind of mark this up and show you what I'm referring to. So you'll notice that the, you know one thing that's, that's pretty awesome about the Forex market is you can really only buy or only sell, right? There's always buyers. There's always sellers. It's open five and a half days a week. But how many of you notice that the market moves in waves, okay? Understand what moves up must move down. What moves down must go up. So understand here's we're the market's creating lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. And ultimately, I think you're getting the picture here. All right? Now the question is, how are you able to track this all right, and basically generate profit with the market moving in this to form a direction? So the first thing I want to do right now is I want to actually teach you and show you all right, how we take advantage of this. And I'm going to actually show you just it's going to be spatially a little bit easier to understand. All right, with what I'm going to be showing you now before I actually get into the example. And so what I want to first do right now is let me just go ahead and clean up the charts. And all right, perfect. Now, let me move up to a blank space real quick and show you how the strategy holds true. And I'm going to show you, um, basically, I'm going to teach it to you, and I'm going to show you how it holds true in the actual market, all right? So first thing I want to do is I want to explain something to you, all right? I want you to understand that the market, all right, is basically the market, the first thing it's going to do is, is it's going to basically create a high or a low of the day, and it's going to do that two times a day. Now understand that the market 
All right, the neat thing about the Forex market is that, that I absolutely love is it does the same thing over and over and over again, you know, day in and day out. And it has a very high percentage of providing the same signals, usually during the same uh, times and usually during the same areas. All right, and so first thing I want you to do for those of you taking notes here, I'm just going to type out high and low. All right, I'm going to put that here, and then I'm also going to go ahead and put another one right up here. All right, and here's why uh, I'm doing that. Understand that the one, one of the areas that the market has provided is the market will provide a high all right, and a low within a 24-hour period. Now, you're going to be able to see that, especially on the one-hour time frames. Now, like I said, because the market will repeat itself over and over and over again, the market will form okay, its first higher low between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. All right, so we have 2 a.m. Eastern Time and 5 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, so once again, the first higher low will form between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, the second higher low I want you to understand is that is that's going to form between the hours of, all right, we have 8 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's going to basically be between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m., okay? So with that being said, here's what I want to ask you. How many of you agree with me? Type in a line for yes if you agree. Is it safe to say that the first higher low we'll be able to easily find the first higher low more easily between a three-hour time frame gap versus a six-hour time frame gap. Does that make sense? And so the reason I'm showing you that is because I want you, what we're going to be focusing on is the first higher low between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. So understand that there's like a, it's like a 710 opportunity. So you have a 70% chance all right, that the market will form a higher low between this time every single day. All right? Now, as you can see that we have a three-hour window to find the first higher low, and you have a much higher window to find the second higher low. And from experience from using this, all right, I'll tell you it's much easier to find the first higher low than it is the opposite higher low. And so that's what we're going to be doing once again, all right? We're going to be focusing on the first higher low uh, of the day. Now, to kind of put things into perspective for you, <clears throat> all right, I want you to realize that the market is going to basically, it's very important to understand this, the market is going to basically cover a distance and it's going to basically cover a distance. Uh, it's going to be covered between the low and the high, or the high and the low of the day, and that is known as an average daily trading range. All right, so I want you to understand that the average daily trading range can move anywhere between 50 pips and 200 pips. All right, so what I'm going to do is some people abbreviate it uh, a little bit differently, all right, but I'm going to go ahead and just put ADP, all right, and I'm going to put plus 50 pips and 200 pips, all right? So what that basically means is that we are going to be focusing on a minimum of, for each trade, we're going to be going after a minimum of 50 pips. Make sense? Now, the question is, okay, what is a pip and what is it actually worth to me? Well, there's three major lot sizes traded in the Forex market, and depending on your actual investment, that will depend on, on really what your return on investment will be. So for example, all right, if you just start off with the very, very just smallest lot size available, we actually call that a micro lot, okay, a micro position. So what, for those of you taking notes, I'm just going to go ahead and type this out. All right. So once again, a micro, understand that it's a $20 investment, and that $20 investment for each pip, each pip is worth about $0.10. Cents, okay. Now, the second lot size available for you, for those of you that want to move your way up, of course, all right, that's going to be known as a mini lot. So I'm going to type out mini, and understand that's a $200 investment. All right, and that right there, for each pip, each pip is worth one dollar, one U.S. dollar. Okay, and then finally, all right, let's take it to the biggest loss size available. That is known as a standard lot, right? Standard position. So I'm going to type out standard. Now, a standard lot that is a two thousand dollar investment. Okay, and each pip is worth ten U.S. dollars. All right, now. I want to go ahead and just kind of let you know, right? So let's just say on the low end, you make 50 pips per day. That's either $500 with a standard position, $50 with a mini position, or $5 with a micro position. Now, just so I can get a better understanding of who we have in the room today, why don't you just go ahead and type into the chat box. If you think you're a standard lot trader, type in 2,000. If you think you're a mini lot trader, type in 200. Or micro, type in 20. Just kind of give me an idea here. All right, perfect. Uh, thank you, Addison, Elizabeth. Emily, Ethan, Alexander, uh, GP, Kurt, Harry, Beach, Benson, Christine, Benton, David, and everybody else. All right, so we have um, 
you know, quite a few standards. We have a lot of minis and, and uh, just a few micros. So it looks like the majority of the room, let's just say the majority of the room looks like they're starting out around a mini lot, okay, which is pretty normal. And for those of you that are at a $20 investment, just understand that when you trade a micro position, we set the expectation that's not really life-changing. It's really more like study-type income. Okay? And so that's when you're going to really be able to learn the habits and the strategies, and you're going to be able to progress. Right? Please understand that you know, you're going to want to reinvest. A compound and eventually you know build residual income. So for those of you that are already at a standard lot, right, a standard lot investment, I think that's fantastic. And I think you have a competitive edge already, and you're gonna pre be pretty pleased with what I'm gonna be showing you and the income you're gonna be able to receive, right? So what I'm gonna do right now is I want to quickly just clean up the mark uh, clean up the charts, right? And as I clean this up, I'm now gonna move down below and show you how this actually holds true. Okay? So the very first thing that I want to do is I want to just back the market up and show you, show you something that's pretty neat. So if I back the market up real quick, here's what I want to do. All right, now, I want to start right here, and let's just go to the previous 3 a.m. candle, okay? So once again, previous 3 a.m. candle, which is right here. Now, how many of you notice, all right, how many of you notice right here, does the market create a directional push up towards the north? So 3 a.m. candle is right there, okay, it's lit up. Does the market move in an upward direction up towards the north within a one, two hour time frame? How many of you see that, okay? Make sense? And so once again, if we take it to the previous, if we take it to, uh, you know, let's, let's take it out to the previous 3 a.m. candle, I want you to take a look at something, all right? So once again, there's the next 3 a.m. candle, and I want you to see something. How many of you notice, once again, does the market create a directional push, uh, directional push down towards the south within just a few hours. Does that, does that make sense? All right, and folks, I can literally do this all day long and show you the 3 a.m. candles and how the 3 a.m. candle will create a directional push. And once again, here's the last one I'm going to show you until I sh and I'm going to show you how this holds true, but take a look here. All right, is this the 3 a.m. candle? Yes or yes? And does the market basically rally up within a one, two, three, four hour time frame how many of you see how, how much the market moved in a four-hour time frame? So for those of you that aren't sure how to read pips, I want to show you. So let's say we entered into the market on the 3M candle right here. How many of you can tell me how many pips did we generate on this one trade alone? How many of you can tell me? Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a spotlight because I want to teach you how to read pips. All right. So for those of you that know the answer, uh, please type it in. For those of you that don't, uh, just type in a Y for yes if you see the word range. Uh, GP says yes. Thank you, GP, and everyone else. Okay, perfect. So take a look at the number 137 next to range. Okay, so range equals pips. So basically, 3 a.m., one, two, three, four hours later, you're at a, you're at 137 pips. Now, if that's a, if you're trading at a standard lot, understand that that is 1,370 U.S. dollars. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, bring this more towards the current market and show you how this actually holds true. Right? So let me just clean this up. All right. Uh, let me just bring it up a little bit more, so that we, we I like to show I like to show current markets. So, all right. Let's start. Let's just keep moving a little bit. Show you a couple examples here. All right. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and let's start on the following day. Okay. So I want to start on the 28th, and let's just start at the 3M candle. So let's just start right there. Okay. Now, once again, can I just have you please type in a Y for yes if you're with me so far? If the buildup in the foundation makes sense, and you're ready for me to show you how, to hold, how this holds true. So understand, and um, please remember, that we are going to be focusing on the 3 a.m. candle. And for everybody typing in yes, uh, thank you for that confirmation. So once again, 3 a.m. candle right there, right? So what is the very first thing we're going to do with this actual strategy? Well, first thing we're going to do is when we identify the 3 a.m. candle, we are actually now going to place all right, two lines. And these two lines, they're known as an entry buy and an entry sell. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place a green line 10 pips above my 3M candle. So we're at the 9024. So let's go up to the 9034, and we're going to drop it right there, okay? So once again, understand that what this is, this is an entry buy, okay? So entry buy, and the entry buy is plus 10 every time here, okay? Plus 10 pips above the high, all right? Now, we're now going to place an entry sell. And we're going to place an entry sell minus five pips below the low. So if we're at 1.89, okay, 
uh, five, two. Let's drop it down five pips. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right. So we're now going to drop that right there. So what we're going to do this now. Let's label this, and this is now called an entry cell. So we now have entry by an entry cell. Once again, our entry cell is minus five pips below the low. All right. Now, what we're going to do next is I want you to actually understand first and foremost is that these are pending orders. Okay. So with a pending order, understand that the market must cross one of these uh, green lines to tell us are we going to buy the market or are we going to sell the market. All right. Uh, Lou, yes, I did, my friend. All right. So let's go ahead and advance the market forward, and let me ask you a question. Does the market does the market cross into our entry buy or our entry sell? How many of you can tell me? Okay. Well, the market crosses into our entry buy. And so what that's immediately going to tell us to do, that is going to tell us to go ahead and okay, place the market buy right there. Now, the very first thing we're going to do, by the way, is we are going to delete our opposite order. Okay? So I'm going to delete my opposite order, and I'm now going to place my stop. Now, your stop is going to be at the low of the 3 a.m. candle. All right. So for those of you that aren't really quite sure what a stop is, just understand that a stop is basically protecting you. All right. A stop is designed to basically pull you out of the market all right, if the market is going against you and the market is not going in the direction that you're trading in. So once again, I'm going to just put stop is at the low of 3 a.m. candle. All right. Now, with that being said, how do we know how many pips we're going after? Well, we're going to do something called a one-to-one -one ratio. So whatever my risk is, that is going to be what I'm going after from a reward standpoint. So how many of you can tell me how many pips are we risking in this example? We are risking 83 pips, right? So if we're risking 83 pips, great job, Thomas, Alexander, David, Andrew, Grace, and everybody else. If we're risking 83 pips, what is our reward going to be? 83 pips. Remember, one to one. So 83 pips at the 9118. So 9118 is where we're going to place our reward. All right. Now, this one already kind of gives it away, all right, because understand that in this standpoint, because our reward, we are going after plus 83 pips, all right, potential. It's a potential, all right. So once again, let me ask you this. Does the market, okay, move in an upward direction, and do we hit our target, yes or yes? All right, just give me a Y for yes if that makes sense. Just let me know. It also tells me how I'm doing as a teacher, if, if, I'm, you know, if it's making sense and, and, um, and you understand it, right? All right, perfect. So understand that within the hour, that's what you generated. So basically, that, that 83 pip potential is now an 83 pip okay, reward. And so at one standard lot, that is $830 profit in, that's basically less than one hour, but I'm just going to put in one hour. Now, how many of you would be pretty excited if you were able to, to basically take a look at a 3 a.m. candle, one, two hours later, you have a market buy, you place your you trade, and listen, you can go right back to bed. Understand, it's either going to go in your favor or it's going to go against you, but take a look here. Once again, how many of you would be pretty happy about that? All right? So understand that that's how this holds true. And so what we're going to do is let me go ahead and show you another example, and let's just take this to the following day. All right, so let's go to the next example here. Now, the next example, let me just go ahead and keep a hold of that. Now, remember, all right, we're focusing on the 3 a.m. candle. So let's delete that. Okay, I'm going to clean this up. And all right, perfect. Let's keep moving here. Now, as I go ahead and uh, show you how this holds true, once again, I want you to see, I want you to ask yourself, do you really see yourself doing this? So let's go right here. All right? So yes or yes, is this our new 3 a.m. candle? Yes, it is, right? So on our 3 a.m. candle, what is the very first thing we're going to do? I want to ask you. It's the very first thing we're going to do at a 3 a.m. candle? Bingo. We are going to place an entry buy. You're absolutely correct. So we're going to place that 10 pips above. So let's go to the 9335, and we're going to drop it right there, right? Now, where are we going to place our entry sell? Bingo. Okay, minus 5 pips below. So let's drop it 5 pips right there, right? So once again, we have an entry buy. Our entry buy is plus 10 pips 
above the high. All right, and our entry cell is minus five pips below the low. All right, so once we identify that, what are we going to do? We're going to advance the market forward. We're waiting for the market to give us a market buyer or a market sell. Now, did the market cross into our entry buy, yes or yes? And I want you to remember, these are nothing but pending orders, okay? Yes, it did. So what we're going to do right now is we are immediately going to, okay, this is now going to become our what? That's going to become our market buy. So our entry buy now becomes our market buy. All right, we are going to delete our opposite order, delete. And where are we going to place our stop? Who can tell me? Bingo. At the 3 a.m. candle low, right there, okay? So once again, we now have our stop. So what I want to do right now is let's take a look at what, okay, what are we risking on this one trade. All right, so let's, let's take a look. How many of you can please be so kind to tell me what's our risk on this one trade? Now, for those of you that are wondering, well, Mike, what if the risk, okay, is maybe 30 pips? Are we going to go after 30 pips? No. Understand that if the risk is anything under 50 pips, we are still going after 50 pips minimum. Does that make sense? So let's take a look. All right. Bingo. Great job, Bij, Thomas, Benzine, and everybody, or Brees, uh, Bren, Brensis. Sorry about that. All right, so 120 pip risk, so we're going after 120 pips. So our reward is going to be placed at the 1.9455. All right, so 9455 is, where, is what we're going after. So understand that our reward, all right, our reward is plus 120 pips potential. Now, once we go ahead and have all that identified, okay, remember, this is where we, this is where we got into the market. We placed our market buy. We're now going to advance the market forward, and let's see what happens. Okay, so one, two, three. How many of you see that three hours into the trade, does the market hit our reward, yes or yes? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to just envision and imagine yourself at 3 a.m., at 3 a.m., okay, depending on where you're at, where you live, around the globe, at 3 a.m., you kind of start scoping out the market. One hour into the trade, okay, it crosses into your market buy zone. You place your trade. You place your stop. You place your reward. You go back to bed. How many of you would, wouldn't mind being up for one or two hours, go back to bed, wake up, and you either have a, you know, unfortunately, either a loss or Fortunately, a win. Now, in this scenario, understand that one, two, three, okay, from the place, when you place the trade, one, two, three hours later, your reward, your potential reward now becomes an actual reward, right? And that is known, that is now going to be at one standard lot, $1,200 profit in how many, how many hours did we say? In three hours. So how many of you would be pretty happy if you were able to generate a $1,200 in a three-hour time frame, and remember, you're not up for these three hours, you know, nervous and stressed out. Remember, okay, you're simply going back to bed after you place after you place your setup. Now, let's see here. I missed the okay, uh, Joseph. The reason we we use the three M candle buddy is because that's when the first higher low is going to cre uh, basically be created, right? When we're going to identify the first higher low uh, in the market. So now, with that being said, here's what I want to do: type in a Y for yes, please. If you like what I'm showing you. And you actually like this strategy. Either you're going, man, this is not that, you know, this is not that great, or inside you're getting a lot of, you know, in your mind you're going, man, this is awesome. How many of you like what I'm showing you and you, you know, you're saying to yourself, you know what, this might actually be something that, that's pretty awesome. Now, realize this, folks, a lot of people, you know, will either, you know, are going to be out there. Some people will work, you know, 8, 9, 10, 12-hour days. I, I was looking at working 10, 12-hour days, okay, and then, you know, I, I would get to the point where I'm like, my gosh, you can literally generate this type of income in this time frame and understand that not every, I'm not saying that every trade is going to be a win, okay, but realize that I just wanted to backtrack a little bit, all right, to kind of show you, um, you know, not too far back, but also show you how it holds true recently, okay? Now, with that being said, I want you to realize in two trades, in two trades within two days, you basically, what'd you make, okay? You basically made over 2,000 US dollars at one standard lot. Now, what I want to do right now is this. I want to just quickly ask you, let me ask you this question, 
how many of you believe that this is something you could do, all right, just on what you've learned so far? How many of you would be okay waking up early, all right, scoping it out, setting it up, and going back to bed, okay? And, and the reason if you're wondering why, why do I keep asking you this question, it's very simple. Because if you don't believe you can do it, if you don't see yourself doing it, then you're not going to do it. You know what I mean? And so you have to really ask yourself, man, is this going to be something I can do? So if we add up our profit, what are we at? We're at 2,030 US dollars. So 2,000, 2,030 US dollars profit, all right, in two trades in two days. So that's basically what you're looking at. So the question is, would this allow you to fulfill and accomplish a lot of the things that maybe you want to accomplish? So what I want to do right now is this, okay? I want to actually uh, bring it to an even more current market. And a lot of you are asking me to, hey, can you go to this currency pair? Can you go to this currency pair? You know, and here's what I want to do, right? Let me go ahead and pull up. A lot of you are asking me about the pound Swiss because of obviously what happened recently. But here's what I want to do. Let's just go ahead and I want to show you an example um, with, with, let's just take a look at the last couple trades here, all right? So let me just back the market up and let's just go to, let's go to the, okay, so we're on the fifth. All right, now, how many of you now see we are on the pound Swiss currency pair, 60 minute time frame, we're at the 3 a.m. candle, all right? So literally, folks, this was two days ago, all right? So two days ago, the 3 a.m. candle appears. So what are we going to do? We are going to place an entry buy, all right? So we're going to place an entry buy plus 10 pips above the high, right there. All right, so let's go ahead and, and uh, put that in place. So 10 pips above, let's move this up to the 4099, 4099, and that's going to be our entry buy. Now, where's our entry sell going to be? Who can tell me? All right, uh, CL saying, yeah, Lou, we actually, our education, we actually, we have a thing called Forex Tips that covers all um, news and everything. Oh, yeah. So do you put the stop at the high of the 3 a.m. candle or five pips above the high? Okay. Um, yeah, so, so CL takes it up. We place it 10 pips above for the entry buy, and the entry sell, we're going to place it five pips below, okay? So if we're at the 4018, let's drop it, five pips. So one, two, three, four, and five, all right? So once again, 3 a.m. candle, nothing's changed. Same thing, day in and day out, all right? So 3 a.m. candle is what we're focusing on. I don't want you to, I don't want you to lose sight of that. And what are we going to do now? Well, once again, we have an entry buy and an entry sell, and here's what I want you to do. I would like for you to basically take me through the remainder of this. So minus five pips below the low. All right, now, what are we going to do? We are going to advance the market forward, correct? Boom, right there. Let me ask you this. Do we have an entry buy or an entry sell? You're absolutely correct. So the market crosses into our entry buy right there. All right. So what are we going to do? We are going to delete our opposite order. Delete, delete. Once again, we're going to place a stop at the 3 a.m. low. So 3 a.m. candle low, there's our stop. All right. Take us out of the market if it goes against us. And now our entry buy, remember, pending orders, this now becomes a market buy. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So now that we have identified that we are going to buy the market, let's take a look at how many pips we're going after. What is our reward going to be? Well, let's find, let me ask you this. What's our risk? What are we risking on this one trade? Bingo. All right. 82 pips. So now we're going to move this up, and we are going to go to 82 pip reward. That's at 1.4181. So 4181. So we're going to place a reward right there at the 4181, all right? So once again, how many pips are we going after? Our reward is plus 82 pips potential, all right? So once again, this is what we're going after. This is our reward. So we go back to bed. You do your thing. And let me ask you this. Does the market hit our reward, and do we hit our target two hours into placing that trade? Yes, we do. All right? So once again, 
the 82 pip potential is now an 82 pip bingo, all right, reward. So at one standard lot, that would be 820 US dollars profit in one, two hours, in two hours. So folks, there's some people that will literally, you know, they'll sit there and they will, you know, trade the market throughout the whole day, and that's fine, okay, trust me, I, I do the same thing, you know, many, many times, but understand that there's some people that literally trade this strategy and this strategy only, this is all they do, all right? And so how many of you, once again, would have liked to, at 3 a.m., you scoped out the market, all right? You place your entry buy, you place your entry sell, the market advances, you're in a market buy, you place your stop, place your limit, you're buying the market, and boom, it takes you out, you hit your reward, and there it is, all right? So if we do the math real quick, let's just do the math together. And by the way, I'm, look, I'm trying to keep an eye on the time here, all right? I got about, okay, I have less than 10 minutes. I have less than 10 minutes. And so what I need to do right now is this. I need to keep moving here to kind of show you what we're doing for everybody today. And so what I want to do is I'd love to get into a lot more examples here, but let, let me just do this. How many of you would be pretty excited? So if we do the math real quick, so in those three examples, all recent time frames, okay, all, re all recent times, let's just take a look. So we're at 2,030 plus 820 is what? 2,850 U.S. dollars. So how many of you would be pretty happy if you were able to generate, okay, 2,850 U.S. dollars on three trades alone, okay? Now, I want you to picture this. What I didn't do is I didn't take you and show you all the other examples on the other currency pairs. So I want you to just imagine yourself trading these multiple examples, all right, these multiple currency pairs. And I'm not saying you're going to win every time, okay? Uh, it just so happened we didn't come across a loss with what I'm showing you, but do, do we lose occasionally? Yeah, okay? There's no, if anyone tells you you're never going to lose, they're lying to you, all right? But before I move on, just type in Y for yes if you understand what I showed you and it's something that you like and you truly believe this would bring value to your life and this would really allow you to do some pretty incredible things. And uh, perfect. And it also tells me how I'm doing as an instructor. Thank you, Steve, David. Um, all right. Awesome. All right. So with that being said, let's keep moving here. And let me show you what we're going to be doing for each and, uh, each and every one of you today. All right. A lot of you are asking me about performance. Well, take a look here. All right. In May of 2014, this was all last year, in May we're at 155 pips or 1,550 U.S. dollars. In June, we're at 392 pips, or 3,920 U.S. dollars. In July, 354 pips, or 3,540 U.S. dollars. In August, we have a loss of 18 pips, or a loss of $180. September, we have a loss of 70 pips, or a loss of 700 U.S. dollars. In October, we're up 210 pips, or up 2,100. November, we're down 150, or down 1,500. In December, okay, we're up 105 pips, or 1,050. U.S. dollars. Now, 978 pips in eight months. Folks, that's 9,780 U.S. dollars profit. And let me tell you, this is not on, this is not on all the currency pairs, okay? Just a, just a very few. Now, with that being said, would, that, would you be pretty happy if you were able to generate this type of success, okay? So what I want to do right now is what I also want you to understand is this was just on one currency pair, okay? So with that being said, I want to go ahead and just kind of bring things into perspective for you. Take a look at some of our few investors that started trading the Forex market with MTI's guidance. This is Thomas S., a pastor from Ontario, Canada. He says, I made $4,500 in my first week. Okay, Anthony S., he's a student from uh, Trinidad and Tobago. He says, I would say about a month after I started to see a return on my investment. An average month of trading, I'm making 3,000 plus pips. All right, and here's uh, Peter Cook. Peter Cook says, I did Josh's Pound Australian, and it took me to the limit. Just as Josh said, I did not move my stop or fiddle with the plan. I just bought, set my stop and limit, left it alone as the analysis was spot on. It was good for 80 pips. Similar to a lot of the things that I just showed you, right? And so once again, and by the way, that was uh, right there. That was, you know, that was, um, you know, uh, what, what Joshua, you know, once I said he's my coach, once again, he coaches many, many students with this uh, particular strategy. But here's what I want to go ahead and do right now. Let me just introduce you to what we're going to be doing for each and every one of you. So, First and foremost, type in a yes if you found this easy to follow, okay, if you thought this was easy to obey, and if you thought this was easy to execute. Uh, Thomas, you're very welcome, my buddy, my friend. All right, awesome. So just imagine if you have, if having an income of three to $5,000 a month, especially just to start with. All right, and look, here are the stats from a day similar to this where we generated 964.8 pips and took our profits just 11 days later. 
All right, so folks, the, what I showed you earlier, all right, once again, I want you to think about that. So here's what we're going to do. When we host these sessions, folks, we look to generate income. And on this particular day, we made $9,861 in just 11 days. Now, how would you guys like to trade all right, live with two professional Forex traders, and even one of them is the one who developed this strategy? Okay, and listen, what I'm going to be doing for you, I can literally get you in uh, for, such, for such a low rate. It's kind of silly. But uh, let me go ahead and show you who these gentlemen are. The reason why our students are able to receive these results is because of our two Forex uh, master trainers and our lead instructors of the trading club. All right, so first and foremost, you know about Joshua. But let me introduce you to Chris. All right, so Chris Pulver, he's one of MTI's lead analysts. He's direct supervisor over world-famous Analyst on Demand. He is a private money manager. He's made thousands of Forex investments. He's an international speaker, pro analyst, full-time trader, all right? And what's most important, the guy knows how to get results, all right? And so with that being said, here's what I want to show you. I want to help everybody on this webinar today by doing something that we normally don't do. Normally, you'd be paying $297 a month for this entire membership program, okay? But that's not the case today. Understand, folks, that what we're doing for you today, all right, we're going to literally allow each and every one of you, all right, to get started for just 27 US dollars. For just 27 US dollars, folks, we're gonna allow you to literally jump on board, get going here, and so what I want you to do at this time, for those of you that have an interest, all right, and taking advantage of this for just 27 US dollars, all right, please go ahead, and uh, Reed is actually gonna put in a link into the chat section, there it is. So for those of you that see the link, if you could just at this time, just click the link, let me know you received the link, all right, my time's about wrapped up, so I'm gonna breeze through this, all right, but go ahead, just type, uh, click the link, and if you could please let me know, all right, that you, uh, the link is good to go, all right? So just let me know. So once again, folks, for just 27 US dollars for your first 30 days of membership, and here's what I want to let you know. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee. All right, so if you're unsatisfied, no problem. I will give you your money back within those 30 days. Now, for those of you that are wondering, what are we actually going to be receiving? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to breeze through this. You're going to get eight live market online forex sessions per month all right, with two MTI analysts. All right, so once again, everything that we covered. So if you don't want to trade early in the morning with Josh, you can trade with Chris Pulver on a completely different strategy. You're going to receive one Forex market preview video each week by basically telling you exactly what to do. And here's the, here's the great thing. If for whatever reason you're unable to attend live, they will be recorded. So you're going to be able to access them and check them out yourself, no problem. And uh, one thing I want you to understand is that in the live market webinars and the previews and the videos, not only are they going to show you the, tra the winning techniques, all right, but also they're going to highlight common mistakes that you can really be avoiding, all right? So once again, folks, for those of you that go forward today, we're going to give you four special bonus gifts for getting started. Bonus one is 30 days free of Market Traders Institute's VIP Analyst On Demand service. So basically, you can follow professional traders that they show you and tell you what to do. Bonus two is an introduction to currency trading for Forex lessons by MTI. Third bonus is profit plan consultation call, the same consultation call that I had and Joshua had. Bonus four is... Uh, Jared Martinez, the FX chief, all right, his, his uh, e-book, 10 Keys to Successful Forex Trading, all right? So with that being said, folks, once again, it's just 30-day money-back guarantee. It's just 27 U.S. dollars. And let me ask you this. Do you think it's worth 27 U.S. dollars? So at this time, I'm about wrapped up, Reed. I'm going to have to bring you back on, buddy. I know that. But uh, let me ask you all this. For those of you that are moving forward today, just type in the word yes if, if it's worth $27, all right, to sit in, trade live, Follow us, Definitely. and for whatever reason, it's not for you. No big deal. All right. So I got to go, guys. Uh, Reed, sorry for going over my time, buddy. Um, and yeah, and Charlie, thank you. Charlie, the cost after your first 30 days is $147. Okay, 50% off the normal cost. All right. So with that being said, Reed, I got to bring you back on, buddy. Uh, but I'm going to send the link out to everybody once again. Sorry for having to breeze through the close there um, and kind of show you what we're offering for you. But that's my time. Thank you, everybody, once again.